Hi, how's it going? Today I'm gonna talk about how to improvise in model parts, in model sections of improvisation. I'm Luciano Ruas of the Brazilian Accent Improvisation and if you have seen my lives uh, before, I've told you about, I've memorized the theme uh, for Rosin of the composer Heraldo do Monte where he has a, a a different form it's not a common form with irregular changes on the chords that's not not uh, necessarily proper to improvise it's possible but it's not proper and the solution is uh, of how to improvising this theme is written on the lead sheet and he proposes uh, improvising the G Dorian scale. So um, you, we are just improvising in one chord and how to make this interesting, all right? How to study it, how, how, what can we do inside just one chord of a, a Northeast theme of in, in Brazil. So, the first thing I, I'm, I'm gonna do is, is to improvise just what is inside my head first. I, tr I try to do the, the common ideas that appear on my head and after that we are going to, to use more advanced uh, and study some different possibilities. Alright? So, uh, I'm going to give you the basis that it's the, the, the chord of G.
So, uh, I've done the solo just inside uh, the Dorian mode. I applied a lot of resources that I've, I've told you in my previous lives. Um, I used some nor Northeast cliches um, to start some ideas. I tried, I tried to improvise some phrases uh, that are on my head. I tried, uh, I used some common rhythms like uh, 80 notes, uh, dotted 80 notes with uh, 16th notes. Um, I used, uh, tried to use some uh, famous melodies as an, an and I start for a, an, an idea. I used some pedal points that are common in instruments like the fiddle that's played on Northeast music uh, or the, uh, also the accordion that can do uh, repeated notes using the, uh, I don't know the name of the part of the, that, that you you push and pull of the accordion please say help me in the comments the how the, the this name um and so these are the most common and the most natural for me ideas all right uh the second thing i would like to uh, after this applying these kind of ideas um the second thing I would work today it's to find more scales with the uh, using the pedal of G so I was playing G inside G Dorian but we can uh, uh, and just look at the at the G and change the X structure for example, we can use the outer altered scale. Or the mixolydian the mixolydian um uh legion legion mixolydian with sharp 11th over uh the triton of g it creates a polytonal uh, sensation We can use also the the dim, diminished scale of G. I'm gonna return. 
to the altar scale. We can use also, also the dungeon scale of the, the, the G card. Note that I am exploring, exploring different scales and creating, generating different sounds. Uh, if if you have uh, musicians that um, are paying attention what in what you are, you are doing, you're gonna you're gonna realize the you're gonna realize the. Uh, they they are gonna realize and change the card with you, all right, and this can cause interesting, uh, interesting interaction between you and 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 he or she, all right. Uh, I'm gonna explore a little of each scale again, the diminished scale. And the altered scale. And the um, the dungeon scale.
So these are the main uh, scales I would uh, use in this pedal of G, all right? So I'm going to try to create some mixture between the G Dorian and, and create some kind of evolution of the improvise. And, in, in, and it's like an evolution not in terms of quality, but I think in terms of dissonance. I can start with more more inside the, the tonality and and go darker and darker in this in the sound okay transform uh and we can construct uh, some some narratives uh, using this um connection between um, a lot of tension was with less tension or and when I say tension, I can say tension in terms of rhythm or in melodical terms or uh, harmonical. Uh, I, can, I can create some, some contrast, contrast between the elements and, and, and count some story about inside the, this. I'm going to try to create some story here and if i if possible i'm gonna talk to you all right i'm i'm gonna start with a few notes in the dorian mode of g like a theme I remind one interesting thing that I've discovered on playing uh, the theme Lamento Sertanejo of the composer Dominguinhos. It's this, we can change the, the Dorian mode also to a, a Dorian, mode, a Dorian mode with a sharp 11th. So this note, it's very interesting for the it creates a, a darker um, environment of northeast sounds. All right, uh, I started to explore here. Third scale. So 
Sorry. And the exotonic is here. And return to outer skate. Let's use the down jing scale. All right, so these were the different scales I've, I could use to create this different uh, different uh, tastes in my improvise. So the last thing um, I would explore some uh, is some some symmetrical uh, and some outsides. I, I, I some symmetrical melodies changing the tonality but thinking on the uh, thinking in the g pedal as home all right for example uh, it would be typical to use this phrase And uh, I'm I'm walking minor thirds. And return to G minor. Now I'm gonna use some major thirds uh, progression. Thank you. 
So this I've used to return to the tonality some chromatism also and you you try to develop them you can you you can continue develop them developing them and walking with them till you you return to a comfortable part in the in the tonality sense all right so these are some ideas i practice and i'm i'm going to try to construct some solo uh, using them and it's that's that, that's it okay um let's go Altered scale. Thank you. 
all right that's it so these were some ideas i used to improvise in northeast themes or um correcting myself these are some ideas that i use to improvising model themes themes that has a pedal point and you can create this sensation of uh, of outsides of having one just one fundamental but you can you are free to create some uh some tonal changes some colors and progressions inside it all right i hope you have enjoyed this live and learned with it okay i always like to to show you my process of learning of studying a theme understanding it and this process has uh it's not a perfect process it has mistakes it has some testing parts that I'm learning and there, there are some ideas that don't don't happen in the first time in the first try all right and I encourage you to do to, to do the same search for new new ways of developing solos with the Brazilian language but uh, trying trying to to go out of the your comfort zone all right so that's it Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow for more one Brazilian accent improvisation. Bye.